Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech. I'm your host, Rogue, and today a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. Tech has more information and a special sign up offer at the end of this video. Henry comes in with a question regarding upgrading his computer and he wants to know. He wants to know about switching from a 5600X to a 5800X, but there's more. He said that a 5900X is now an option. He also has a 3070 with 32 gigs of RAM. And he wants to know, should he do that? Let me translate for everybody out there who missed what that said. Henry had previously asked us if he should upgrade from a Ryzen 5 5600X, six core 12 thread chip to a Ryzen 7 5800X, eight core 16 thread chip. And I told him no, because he was quote unquote married to the 5600X in the sense you've, you've spent the money on it, it's installed, it's working. Would I have bought it? No but you did, and that's fine. It's not a bad chip, it just is what it is. And I don't think that the, you know, if you're gonna spend $150 more, you're gonna spend 450 or even 425, depending on what they're costing at the moment, you're gonna buy an eight core chip just to rip out a six core chip that the same generation, that the same um, instructions per clock cycle, the same basic clock speed, the 5800X might be 100 megahertz faster, but it's they're basically the same chip. Mm -hmm. The incremental improvement there is very small. For example, the total cache on the chip, there's more to a CPU than just the cores. In the case of the Ryzen chips, a Ryzen 5 5600X has 35 megabytes of on-chip cache. It does. A Ryzen 7 5800X has, has 30, no, oh. has 36 oh, that's right. megabytes of cache. I know, there's so and much the to memorize. 5900X has 70. Right. And so going from a 5600X to a 5800X goes from 35 to 36. 36. That's nothing. But a Ryzen 9 5900X goes from 35 to 70 megabytes of on-chip cache. 70 megabytes of on-chip cache is going to help in ways. In fact, AMD did a demonstration at Computex a couple weeks ago showing a average of a 15% improvement by simply adding a bunch more level three cache to their existing CPUs. It, it makes a difference in places you wouldn't expect. 70 megabytes of on-chip cache versus 35. Sometimes it won't matter, but sometimes it will. And, when and it if you're multitasking or if you're... You, it's one of those things that you don't think you need until you get it. And then you're like... But he'll also go from 6 cores to 12 cores. That's the other thing. I mean... Going from 6 cores to 8 cores is a 25% improvement or 33% depending on how you do the math. Going from six to 12 is a 100% improvement. Here's the kicker. A Ryzen 9 5900X is 599. Uh, no, excuse me, 549. It's only $100 more MSRP over a 5800X. Frankly, the only Ryzen CPUs that make any sense at the moment are Ryzen 9. Ryzen 5 5600X is stupid because of the price. It's a great chip. If it was 199, I would be screaming its virtues from the mountaintop. At $199, a Ryzen 5 5600X is bloody awesome. At 299, a Ryzen 7 5800X would be bloody awesome. Yeah. I would be screaming its virtues from a mountaintop. At 450, it's just dumb. For 550, a Ryzen 9 5900X 12 core 24 thread chip with 70 megabytes of on chip cache has a lot more future in front of it for not that much more money and makes a lot more sense. So we've been saying that since it launched. Why people don't hear that is beyond me. It's not that hard to, to see. I, so to answer his question, his no is now a yes. What she said. That's what she said. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, I would do that upgrade. And um, 
you know, it's not going to give you more FPS. It's not going to raise your averages by a lot, might by a little bit. What it's going to do is make your machine more responsive. It'll make game updates faster, games launch faster. It'll make, and your machine will last a lot longer. You're buying yourself. You won't have to fuss with an upgrade to the first or second generation of AM5 and Zen 4, Zen 5. You can wait a couple of years, have that be a very mature platform. DDR5 yep. prices can drop, and then you can make that leap. Exactly. There you go, Henry. Have fun. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cashback that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, no credit checks, no interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money anywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. You heard me right. Use your new Crypto Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and get 100% back in rewards. Earning 8% on your new Visa card is awesome, but how would you like to earn up to 14% interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating to feel like your money is just parked. Yes, you really can earn up to 14% annual interest on your crypto paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. Flexible terms are offered, including zero lock, so you can withdraw your crypto anytime you like without restrictions, or you can hold for one or three month terms for a higher rate of return. Of course, you can buy, sell, and exchange 100 plus cryptocurrencies with 20 plus fiat currencies using bank transfers or your credit and debit card at true cost. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. There is so much more to explore, I have barely scratched the surface. DeFi features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, crypto pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and you earn up to 10% back in rewards, and that's not even everything they have to offer. If you're looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link in the video description below to sign up today, you'll get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and it gets you a great offer to get started in the world of crypto.